Hey, everybody. Hey, it's Jen and Kanata, and I'm just going to do my video today on what we are eating to use up stuff in our fridge, freezer, pan and uh, pantry um, for this low spend challenge. So I'm going to show you what Abby and I are having for lunch today. She is having the sushi that she didn't finish for lunch yesterday, and I'm going to have some of the dumplings that were leftover cooked from yesterday. There's still some leftover dumplings that I didn't cook up because there was just too much and I still have leftover shrimp spring rolls. So those will be available for anybody else who wants to eat them. So that's what we're gonna have for lunch right now. So in my freezer, I couldn't find spaghetti sauce or chili to start with. So if I did f find my um, porcupine balls. So there's like meatballs with rice in here with spaghetti sauce all over like I baked it. So I'm just going to break that apart. Also I found another container of, it looked like ground meat with alpinos. Put that together in my instant pot with some canned sauce and uh, chopped tomatoes and make my own spaghetti sauce with it. Since I know there's a lot of vegetables already hidden in here, I'm not going to be too worried. I might throw some of those riced vegetables I made the other day in there as well, just to give it some more veggies. And then I'll have the sauce, and then I'll cook up spaghetti on the stove, and uh, make a salad. So I did the whole container of the uh, cooked meat with jalapenos, and half of this each ball I cut into four and made like meatballs and put it in the sauce. And then I just turned my Instant Pond saute. I put um, one baggie of the chopped veggies from the other day that I chopped up, so about two cups of veggies. Um, the leftover bit of spaghetti sauce that was in the fridge from a jar. And then I opened up a can of crushed tomatoes and then I added water to the can and the jar to... Um, to the pot here. So there's the can of crushed tomatoes. And now I'm going to go turn this off saute and cook it on uh, bean or chili or meat or stew or whatever the, those buttons. And for a snack I had an apple. <laughs> and I'm having some of these seaweed snacks I got in my stocking. These ones are just uh Seasoned and roasted seaweed. No, they're not spicy. But I have like eight of them. <laughs> they're yummy. So I'm just going to have my Trim Healthy Mama Shrinker. Which I have in ice. And uh, my seaweed snacks now. Give you a little bit of salt and crunch. Also, they're healthy. There's like one carb and one fiber. So that cancels them out. It has vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, and iron. As well as, I think, iodine in them. Maybe. I don't know if that was. Maybe it's just iron. I'm still 3% iron. Not bad. And like 30 calories. Two grams of fat. Just a little something to be crunchy and healthy. Maybe it counts as a green vegetable too. Why not? Have you ever had seaweed snacks? Comment below. And that's the leftover, last of the spaghetti. There's still lots of spaghetti and porcupine balls, which I will put in the fridge. So I packaged things up. I put two containers. So I want this one container would be two portions it, or one really, really hefty portion that has pasta and sauce. Another one that has pasta and sauce. I have two for just the spaghetti sauce and two of the leftover porcupine balls and a Ziploc bag of just plain pasta. I'm going to put this in my garage because here in Canada it 
is like minus 20 right now <laughs> so my garage depending so it's either a fridge or a freezer so i'm gonna put my in my garage and cooler so it'll stay nice and cold it'll cool down as you can see it's still kind of warm cool down and then if it freezes it freezes pasta will be fine as long as we use it within a month of being frozen the sauce is going to be perfectly fine frozen and there's lots of headspace on everything so if it freezes and expands that is how it works so there we have it so right now i have like literally six freezer meals <laughs> from cooking two pounds of pasta but just one bag of pasta 900 grams and a can of like two cans of sauce and some pro uh porcupine brawls that I broke up and some cooked meat that was in the freezer and some about two cups of chopped veggies so there we have it thanks for watching friends please like share and subscribe lots of love from Jen in Canada Ontario Canada